today I will be teaching Stagel by First Aid Kit. Uh, kind of drumming some excitement for their album next week, which I am very excited for. So without further ado, let's hop To figure out this picking pattern, let's start with an A minor chord. Or really any chord you want, but this is A minor is the first chord in the song. So, the picking pattern is this. that is if we break it down that is open A D string and then G D uh, B string D G string D a little, a little faster Until you get to that's that's probably a little faster than they do it. You hear, you know, you hear that. You definitely hear that. You don't go up to you, sorry. You go you hear that that down, so but that's what I do. I work up to that kind of speed. Um, now, the way you saw me do the cover, you hear the little cover there. You heard me play the like, -na -na -ha -ha. they don't actually play that while they play guitar. They they do a simpler uh, finger picking pattern where you don't have to choose your bass notes. I'll show you both ways. So I'll start off by showing you the um, the way they do it. Play a few subtleties between what I tried to do, or you could play the vocals and the bass and what they do. So starting with what they do, when you get that A chord, uh, so I'll r also run you through the chords for the intro. When you get the A chord, you do that pattern we just learned. So they hit the bass note of the A, then you go to G. So you know how G chord has, you know, it looks like this. For G, you play the bass note, then you go up to D and do that same pattern, so. Um, and then you go to a an F chord, which for them looks like this, F. And you do the same thing you did for A. to a C with a G bass. It was like this, so this was F. C with the G bass, just move those guys over. You don't go, even though you have a note on the G bass, you don't, you don't hit it, so you still go. So that's the same pattern as the, um, as the, uh, excuse me, the A, the A minor. Now, and then you repeat that again for the second half of the intro, which is A minor, um, G, then F. If you were to do it the way I would do, the subtleties that you would make is it, for A minor, you'd play the bass first. It's just really what you play first. So you play the bass, then when you go G, you play the, the fifth string, you play the A string for G. And then for F, you play the D string first. For C with the G bass, you also play the D string. So you kind of hear it, that's the... Uh, uh, uh. Awesome. Then for that other part, which is a little trickier, you go... Duh, uh, uh. So really all that is, is just... So to do that part, which is what I did, you go, you do the bass, oh. and you go D, B, then you hit that D string loudly, then you switch to G, go to that, how we did it before, 
D string loudly. F. And you can kind of play the, the A and D strings together. It sounds great. So what I do, so to all together that would sound like Okay, so now that we got that finger picking pattern down, we can get you into the, uh, well, we already went through the intro chords, which are, you know, A minor, G, um, F, C with the G bass. Uh, we can run into doing the, uh, the verse. So the chords for the verse, and remember, the finger picking pattern for them, for these chords, is, is the same as, as they do it in the intro. So, you know, with T to the G bass, you play the A string uh, as the bass, then go up to D. G, you play six, the E string, then go up to D. But, uh, okay, so for the verse, it's C to the G bass. You play it twice, two times through. A minor, times through. Then you do a C without a D bass, so you just kind of, you just, you have your A minor chord like that. And you go here. You don't have to do the C with the G bass. You really don't, but it, if you want to make a more powerful sound, you can kind of strum the bottom three or two strings. But for here, you just go back to C, do that for two, A minor, then D minor, just like this. You strum that A, you do A, then D. Kind of the same picking pattern you did for A minor. You do that twice, and then you do G. I'm oh, sorry, G with the low E first. And then you do D minor. Sorry. Go. You do that twice, and then you run into the chorus. Alright. The chords for the chorus are F. Oops, F. Like that. So you do this twice. You do F twice. Our right, picking pattern for F. C the G bass. So you just move these three fingers over down one string. But remember, you don't start with you don't hit the E. You hit the A for this C the G bass. And then you go to A for one. D G for one. And F, back to F. A minor, G, F. I th that goes on twice, and at the second time you do it, you, you do what you do in the intro. So you do A minor, A minor, G, And that takes you back into another verse. After another round of the verse and after another round of the chorus, you move into the bridge. The chords for the bridge are F, C with G bass, E minor, F. And you do, you do each one of these once, the same picking pattern as we do for each chord. For E, you do hit that that low E string, and then go to D for the picking pattern. So it's like. that you go back into what you do for the intro which is you know the A minor G F C A minor C F. and 
it's important to, if this isn't clear, when you do the bridge, you do you do it each once, and then you do F. So F, C, E minor, F. That's one kind of measure. Then you start, you end the measure with F, and you start it with F again. After the bridge comes um, one more chorus, and then you know you take the outro, which is exactly the same as the intro. You just kind of you know slow it down. So, you know, you've already learned the intro, so you can go back and learn the outro, and that's kind of how it ends. It kind of ends, you know, A minor, G, F, C, E minor, G, F. That's pretty much the song. So, I mean, really, once you get that picking pattern down, finger picking, it's, um, it's pretty quick, but you just got to know that what first eight kit does so often it's brilliant really they just you, you, you get string you just alternate hitting the bass and hitting the like the kind of melody so you really just gotta and always use the, your thumb for the bass that's what i've learned it really helps me get their stuff quickly but it's very folksy that that kind of finger picking pattern